I'm Hannah Rose Broom, um, and I am the casting director. Yes, um, so I've done a little bit of film, and then I also work in theater. So um, I've kind of balanced between those two worlds on top of um, that with yoga. Well, so I've worked um, only three times as a casting director, which I feel like is a lot for um, only trying it out for, um, hey Samson, um, a year now, which I do love. I've also worked on indie projects as an actor. Um, I think what I love about indie projects in general um, is the passion. I think that there is something really unique to, um, something that I really find unique about um, the gall to have an idea and see it through and that personal drive of gathering different people together to support you. Um, I love to support people in their passion, in their ideas and starting to create art on their own. Um, I think that is how we innovate and how we change the industry. It all feels like baby steps, but I think each indie project um, does build off of um, each other. So um, I love the passion that it takes because I think we then take that passion onto bigger things as we all grow. And the cool thing is as we all grow together. The craziest thing to me is the gamble of time. <laughs> I feel like um, that is the craziest thing. Like in the blink of an eye, schedules completely change. And as somebody who likes control <laughs> and order, <laughs> Admittedly, um, so, you know, a work in progress, but um, <laughs> that is something that baffles me <laughs> and being able to go with the flow and I think it's a great lesson and I think it's <laughs> something that I can con continue to grow in and um, always learn to become more flexible with and I have um, gotten better at letting things just flow the way they need to, but I think um, the flexibility that is required with a timetable to get passion projects done. Yeah. <laughs> it's mind-boggling. I have a family member that struggled with um, opioids for um, a good portion of their lives. Um, it's interesting, I really love the quote that um, addiction is, uh, why am I gonna blank on it now? It's um, addiction doesn't discriminate. Addiction doesn't discriminate. And I think that is something that I think more people need to acknowledge. There isn't uh, one specific pipeline that creates addiction and it creates um, this ep epidemic. I think it comes from um, a greater illness at large in society. And I think that's what we need to address. Um, I do, and I also hope so. Yeah. You know, I know that it's your intention to, and you do address it, and you address it in a very strong and pointed way. So I think it will bring up the conversation. And my hope is that um, anytime we point things out with our art, is that we create conversation to um, normalize the situation or normalize a reality. And not to say, and not to normalize meaning to then condone, but to normalize a reality saying like, this is what's happening, we have to face it and address it so it can change, um, to keep the taboo, keeps the issue alive. So um, yes, I hope that this very pointed conversation that you're bringing up with LifeBinder does affect some change, of course. Grapefruit LaCroix. <laughs> um, and um, I probably either really want avocado or if I'm going to get like a chip or something, I'm going to secretly try to find the like one bag of the Cooler Ranch Doritos because there's only like one ever. Right, it's like the lone soldier. It's the lone soldier that makes it into those like 12 packs. Right.